Um, I'm just, I'm just going to sit here like this. I wonder if anyone. I can't, can I can't even see you because I'm doing this thing. I'm, I'm transferring it to Facebook. So now, I now I have to wait. I've got to wait now to the end so I can see what you were doing. Yeah, but I know, I know we're on live, but I can't see us on live as yet because it's not on my page. And I know you're going to do that exactly, do that exact thing now because I don't know who's coming on. Hi, Andrew. Oh, Andrew. Gee, Andrew was quick. Pardon? Uh, no. Um. <laughs> I, 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 um, I'm just sharing, so I'll be, I'll be a few minutes. Sorry. Yes. So, how are you, Andrew? Hope you're well. Um, as per as normal. Yet, oh, I can't see anything yet on on my screen. But I will do very shortly. And again, thank you to. Sylvana for doing what I know there's not a lot of people on here yet, but thank you for doing the, the uh, yeah, the um, admin and all. So thank you. Right, where are we? Oh, we've got three people. Nice. Hello, everyone. Oh, no, is that three people? I don't know. I'm just having one of those moments. <laughs> no. <laughs> that happens not... a lot. <laughs> But I was looking at the wrong one then. Are we uh, on my page yet? Um, yes, you're on your page as well. Okay, because I was looking on your page and... Uh, you, you can go through anyone, anyone. Just just do your any, many, miny, mo. Okay, I'm trying to put it on. <laughs> I'm trying to get it on there. Come on, stick. Yay, come on. We can do this, we can do this. Come on, come on. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What is, the, what is the date today? The 23rd, isn't it? Today, well, it's the 24th here. Yes, yes. Come on. Come on, we can do this. I, I, I'm in your future, Paul, so... Hey, we're there, we're there. What's going to happen on the 24th? Yeah, what happens? Yeah, hello, everybody who's on. I can see there's two of you, and uh, I do believe one of them is Andrew. I know, so, I, I saw Andrew comment um, just before I went off to share Yep. But Hello, yes, um, Paul, nice to see you. I can tell you what's going to happen in your future because it's the 24th here. Oh, okay. So, yeah. what? so do you want to know? Do you want to yep. know what's... Okay, you need to book a reading with me. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I'm sure it's not the other way around. <laughs> no, you know. You need to Are you sure? And I can tell you what is going to happen in your okay. future. <laughs> yeah, but, but Andrew should, could be saying the same things, you know. Uh, and Andrew, is... Andrew and I will tell you together what's going to happen <laughs> in the future, and Andrew can heal you. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, he he'll wait. Yeah. <laughs> hello, uh, hello, Liz. Hello, Annie. Hope you're both oh, well too. Um, Hi, Liz. Hi, yeah, Liz. it's nice that. Uh, We've seen all these wonderful faces come up and, you know, the family's coming together, as it were. Yeah. If it looks like I'm tired, it's because I am. <laughs> what I, have you I, been up to, Paul? Well, I had to have a nap because I, if I didn't, you know, I wouldn't be ready for this uh, wonderful show that we do, you know. Um, so I might have woken up halfway through. Um <laughs> but the more the more we do, the better it will become. Yes. Um, so yeah, yeah. But I hope, how how is everyone anyway? Thank you for your messages, uh, Liz. Uh, hope you're well, and I hope you're well, Annie too, and Andrew. Yeah, I can see. I don't, what is that picture? <laughs> Because my eyesight's not good when I'm when I'm tired, but uh, I can see we've got six people on. Three have commented. Where are the other three? Ah, yes, it is. It's a, yes, eleven p.m. here. Eh? Yes. Yeah, I know. Ugh. You just feel like going to bed, and then we start again, and it's brilliant, you know, because, you know. We, we know that I, I know that I'm going to go to bed 
straight after, you know, and and have a wonderful sleep, you know. But I'd have done something magic, magical, talking to all of these, all of you wonderful uh, people, you know. So thank you for coming on. Hello, Gwendolyn. Oh, Gerald, Gerald. I keep calling her Gwendolyn. It's Geraldine. I know. <laughs> I've noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do apologise. Geraldine, you know, he, he keeps changing. You know what we've done? I didn't change our names before you we went on. You didn't change our names. You're going to have to change <laughs> our names. I'm going to change our names right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for that, Geraldine. Thank you. Thank you for sharing us. And uh, that's what we want. We want more people to come to our little group, uh, our little show, and... You know, by doing that, more people come to us and, uh, you know, they get to know all about us and they get to know all of you when we do our little chats, talking about things, you know, talking about holidays, talking about the sunshine, weather, whatever, you know. And, uh, yeah, because that's what this group, uh, this show's about. We do the do the mini readings for people, but we also do the, the chat. To make everybody makes friends with us. Everybody makes friends on this, or at least talks to each other. If you want to talk about knitting, talk about knitting. We don't mind, you know. Um, talk about anything, as long as it's not rude. Um, but uh, no, it's nice because we're hoping that um, by doing this show, we can make we can actually do that where. You know, people that have actually come on to see us have actually made friends with other people that have come on, you know, and made their, um, you know, made a friend that's going to help them on their journey. Or who knows? Who knows? You know, it'd be nice. And that's uh, what, it, what it should be. We're all here as a family and we're all here to help each other. You know, we help you. You help us. And it, it just works. It just works. And we appreciate everybody that comes to us. So thank you to everyone. You know. Um, I'm yep. just trying to work out the picture Andrew put there. There's, he's done three in a row. And I yeah. can't see what it is. I, I can't. Um, it looks like a bloke. I, at first I thought it was ice cream, like on ice cream cones. No, it oh, looks like... a guy. Oh, okay. Are they the eyes? Yeah, I think so. Maybe that's you, Paul. Or is that you, Andrew? <laughs> Me with my eyes need wide open, need to wide up, widen open. Oh, that's what it is. I I I was been looking at it and I oh. can't work out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, thank you, Geraldine. Yes. Thank um, you. You know? Oh, healing hands. Oh, thank right. you. <laughs> now, now we know. So if we see that again, we'll know. We'll know what that is. Because it looks like Sorry, somebody with, with ears. Yeah, I was trying to work. I, I thought, oh, my goodness, I think I need to go and get my eyes tested. <laughs> <laughs> but, but now we know. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. You know, um, it's an amazing thing. You know, healing, what you do. Yes. Um, yeah. And to all the people that are watching, um, Andrew, who's on the the chat there with us, uh, you'll see him in the comments. He is an energy healer and uh, he's located in Melbourne here in Australia, but he does remote healing as well. And I've been a recipient of that and I can vouch for like how fantastic it is. Mm. So, you know, if you would like um, some energy healing, just uh, even click on Andrew's name there and send him a private message. You'll have to check your message requests, Andrew, in case, you know, for people that send you the messages. But, um, yeah, Andrew's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah, I, you know, everybody's got their own bit of healing inside them. You know, when we're talking to people, you know, and that person hasn't heard a voice all day, you're actually healing them. 
you're lifting them, you're giving them energy, you know. And I hope that everybody here is learning through what we do by just talking. You know, you don't have to be a, a psychic medium to do this. You can go out and just talk to anybody as long as they want to talk to you, you know. And, and they'll all, and they'll, but the people that you, that will be around you will, will, um, they'll, they'll come to you anyway. The the right people will come to you. So, mm. yeah. We love having you here, Geraldine. Thank you so yes. much. Definitely, definitely. But, Geraldine, uh, have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? We go on there live randomly. I've just posted the link on these comments and pinned it. If you subscribe, you'll get a notification and you can watch us on YouTube. Go live. And we do this as well. You've got the chat options and everything. Mm, but, yeah. Um, yeah, we love yeah. having you with us as well. Yes, but we, we just basically, we we use these platforms because we want more people to join us. You know, and we want, we want to make more people happy, want to bring their energies up. We want to... We want people going away with a big smile on their face, you know, not just because of a crystal pie in their, in their face or something, but, you know, who says one day we, we could all dress up as clowns? <laughs> um, <laughs> hi, Teresa. Um, yes, we could dress up as clowns. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Or, or I, um, yeah, actually, you've given me a few ideas now. <laughs> Uh, maybe yeah we could um we could actually be the three stooges and we'll have andrew on here and it'll be harry larry and mo <laughs> yeah don't don't worry Teresa. we're just having a bit of a laugh at the moment but uh we'll get we'll Hi, get there jo joining joining with the conversation as everyone else does yeah um yeah we um we're just waiting on um, Sylvana doing a wonderful thing. Oh, um, yes, I've done everything. I was just saying hello to Mix. Um, hello, Mix. Yes. I did see you. Hello. Yeah, I was just um, going to ask if anyone would like me to pull out a card for them. Just let me know. And um, I'll put you here on my list. Yes. Down. Right. Thank you, Mix. Because <laughs> we've got Andrew, Liz. Yeah, and uh, it's whoever asks for one. Um, I know. I'm just yeah. saying we've got these people just in case you hadn't seen them. I think Teresa was asking for one. Um, Annie just uh, was it Teresa asked for one? Did she? Yeah, she did. Okay, oh. so I'll just put Teresa. And I think I just saw Annie. And Geraldine. Geraldine. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course you can have, um, you know, well, um, Annie, you know, you'll be fine. We'll give you them positive feelings. I hope, by the, this is what I said a minute ago, we all go away happy and smiling, you know, because this is a happy, happy show, as it were. We don't want people to go away un unhappy. I know. Teresa, it was for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a message coming for you. So, um, okay, I'll, um, Liz as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, Annie, so just Annie. stay on. Yeah, I've got Annie on here. I've got Annie well, on here. Okay. Second. Yeah, stay on um, because, um, but I'll check if you, to make sure you're here before I do it. Uh, I'm just trying to check through the comments just to make sure I've got everyone that's already asked. Okay. okay. I'll just back to ask Geraldine. Is it nice and cold up in Liverpool? Because it's bloody freezing here. <laughs> yeah, it's freezing down this end of the country. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, uh, I think I told Savannah not long ago, about I had to crack the the ice on my bins so I could put stuff in. Yeah, and I put something on it, and now 
the, whatever it was, slid off. So I'd, I'd have to pick it all up again. <laughs> but uh, that's just how cold it is. Just, the moon is beautiful out there. It's beautiful. Yes. Oh, what, what's your temperature there in Michigan, Teresa? I've never been there. I've been told it's a, it's a bit cold. But uh, yeah, it, it's just, you know, I will, I'll get there one day. Yes, it's really cold, yeah. Because I did forecast some snow as well, but we haven't had it. So the, the weather may not may normally a day out. Yeah, but I don't know. I've got me got me gloves on. <laughs> Let's keep my hands warm. Is that 25 Celsius or Fahrenheit? Oh, it must be Fahrenheit because I know the, the America, the Americans use Fahrenheit. So yeah, God, that is cold. Wow. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> yeah, someone was saying that to me today about loving summer. Yeah, but we have to go through the winters too. And we'll, we'll get through them. We always do. But... Uh, Okay. I'm, using the, I'm using the angel cards today. I just felt drawn to use those today and um, they're really resonating with me this morning. Um, well, in Melbourne, it's morning. <laughs> um, so, Teresa, I, what I've got for you is to be honest with yourself and, you know, from, from the this card, I, I'm getting that you're in an indecisive moment, a period of indecisiveness and angels, your angels are there to help you make the right decision. But they're, they're saying that you need to be honest with yourself as to what decision, which one you want to choose. Um, it's... It's more of as well of setting your intention because once you decide which decision you want or what it is that you want, so I'm not sure whether it's something to do with a job or uh, a particular thing that you want to do, a pathway that you want to take, but once you've made the decision and by making that is by being honest with yourself, uh, set your intentions um, think of all the things that you need to do to actually get you there and live them. You may not have reached them yet, but live them, feel what it's like, what it will be like once you reach them, once you achieve the decision that you're making and you will set up your intentions and you will actually manifest it. So I do feel that you're in an indecisive um, period at the moment. But um, that would be the way to go. Be honest with yourself and that your true pathway will lighten up for you. You'll know which way to go. Mm -hmm. So I hope that resonates and helps you. Yeah, that sounded quite, quite good. Well done. Um, hello, Teresa, again. Um, do you know the first thing I got with you? I got you in a cave where it's completely dark. Okay. It's like you're feeling around. Uh, it's just like a continuation of what Savannah's been saying, but uh, it's like you're feeling around and you just can't find the light, as it were. You can't find the light until you actually open yourself up to what is around you, to the the new ventures, the new the new you. Okay. You're, none of what you're wanting is going to come forward. You need to look like, look within, look within your heart. Yeah, and also there's going to be these. There's going to be people that are in this darkness that are trying to help you to come out of that darkness. 
Okay. It's, there's a couple of, well, there's quite a few actually. They want you to come out of the darkness because all they can see is, is your, it's like you keep retreating back into that. It's like you go into the light and then you come back into the dark. It's like you're backwards and forwards like a yo-yo. Okay. But you're better than that. You are a better person than that. And <clears throat> without understanding you, you will not go anywhere. And I do say this a lot to people. You have to understand yourself before you can start moving forward. But other people, there, there are some great people that are around you that really want to help you, you know. But uh, also, I know this is going to sound a bit weird to some people. There are some angels in there too. Okay, it's like your, it's like your eyes, your eyes are showing the darkness, but everything around you is light. Okay, so it's not that you you're blind to it. Well, you are. You're blind to everything. Yes, that's the wording I, I tried to come up with. You're blind to everything that's around you, okay? And you just need to make sure that that blindness, that dark, it's like you've got blinkers on as well. You just want to go forward in one, one spot. If you look left and right, yeah, you'll see so much, yeah? And you will be amazed at what, what will happen and uh, yeah just keep going keep smiling and uh, think of yourself first and uh, you'll be amazed at what comes okay and uh, thank you Teresa I hope that resonated with yourself and uh, yeah and thank you for coming through and coming to us finding us thank you um yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I, there's a reason why Teresa was, she said she was just drawn to us mm -hmm. and it looks like what we've said has resonated mm. with her and I really hope that that helps you, Teresa. Yeah, uh, yeah. but it, it, it's not an easy fix. You have to go through things to get out of them. But the, the easy fix is turning around from being unhappy to being happy and then everything else should fall into place when you're when you're happy in yourself everything falls into place yeah instead of being blinkered look left and right as well because there's always something there and there is and i can see it <laughs> so thank you right <sighs> if um i'm just putting the links to both our pages in the comments if anyone would like to book a reading, um, you know, with a, a booked reading, we can devote our time to you, focus on just you and on perhaps questions that you'd like us to look into for you. Uh, we, I've posted the links and we have all the, our information in our services tab of what we do. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to, you can just message this page for either one of us or on Paul's page, and uh, we can arrange a, a reading, a private reading for you. Uh, okay, so I actually have Annie here. I've got I've got pulled out a card for Annie. Okay. And I think Annie's still on. Oh, hello, Jen. I haven't said hello to her tonight. And yep, hello, Jen. I think they're the only two that I haven't said hello to. I haven't seen you. Oh, and Kathleen. I haven't seen Kathleen before. <laughs> uh, hello, you both. Yeah. Uh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I, I interrupted you. Sorry. No, no, no. You know, it's okay. I was actually in the... I posted the links in the wrong section. Oh, right, okay. I'm just fixing it up. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't, everyone will find them. Yes, everyone will find them. All right. Yes. Oh, hey, yeah, I can see Annie. Annie's there. Annie's oh, there. Yeah, now I can see Jen. <laughs> okay, excellent. Yeah. Yes. So who's up next? 
Um, Um, Annie, I've pulled out Annie's, Annie's um, a card for Annie. Now, Annie, I've got for you the Heart Chakra card. Um, these cards are angel cards. So with all these things, like your angels, and even with anything, you always just need to ask your angels and they will like, they'll help you. Um, but with this, what I'm getting for you is that you have so much love in your heart that um, you've got like an affinity, a connection with children, uh, whether it's your own children, whether you're an auntie and you're like, you know, the favourite auntie or, you know, the go-to adult uh, for children to talk to um, because of your supportiveness and your connection with children. Um, I'm just getting that um, you just have this really strong bond and I can feel it from my heart, like the love that comes from your heart and it goes to children, it just draws them to you and it, it's you're able to, with having this gift, you know, you're able to help them so much, even just to be a listener or uh, giving them a hug. Um, so that's what I'm getting. So... I hope that that resonated with you. But um, yeah, let me know. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> the first thing that I got with Annie was, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is going, <clears throat> was um, <clears throat> it's like, uh, this is going to sound really funny to some people as well. Right. Your face, you know, it's like you're wearing a costume with a face of a sun, uh, a sunflower, which brings the light and the love, you know, and you're always there for people, um, as Savannah was just saying, you're always there for whoever. I know you're there for the children, but your, your sunshine around you every single time, but there's also other things that you're, seeing that you want to do and i do believe that i do believe some of these things have actually taken place but they're still not working i don't know why they're still not working correctly for yourself you 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 keep trying but you just keep falling in potholes it's like you yeah it's like you just can't move forward but there are there are things there that again it, it, I, there's this, the spiritual side of life which we all have in us okay it's just taking it out of you to be to share with others okay it's just having that wonderfulness it, you, um, oh what's the word it, it's like you've got an, a fantastic aura around you you know you've got a okay it's, yeah but that aura is protecting you as well from other things that are going on other things that are attacking you it's like words that people are saying as well it's protecting you from from those those sorts of people but your aura is, ama is amazing but there's other things that you need to look forward to but there's also other things that you need to put to bed okay that you need to move away from before you start the new things because then those new things won't move until you actually put those other things to bed but i, I also get a bit of writing a bit of book work and you know um i don't I keep getting it could be office work, but that, that could be anything. It's just paperwork, you know, like learning. It's learning. Okay. But, uh, yeah, like I say, put them to bed. You'll go and you'll, wow, you'll be fine. But <clears throat> it's down to you again how far you want to take it. You know, if you want to keep moving forward, and then putting the brakes on, 
you know, you, you don't stop, you take all the challenges, but you just keep, you know, you just move on. But don't stop because all you're doing is stopping yourself and stopping you from helping all those others that are around you. Okay. So thank you, Annie. I hope that resonated with yourself and uh, you know, everything that uh, Savannah said to hopefully that resonated with yourself, with yourself too. So thank you for coming in and yeah, thank you. Ooh, that was a bit of a weird one, but no, thank you. Thank you. Ooh. It's nice to see um, old friends coming, old friends coming forward onto the show as we call it. Thank you. You there? Yes. I thought you disappeared. No, I'm just responding to some of the comments. I'd like to say hello to Liz. I've pulled one out for you now, so stay on because I'm about to read it for you. Um, Jen, hi. Yes, I will put you down on the list. And um, Josephine, I've put you down on the list, but I wanted to ask you, do you prefer Josephine or Josie? Um, and Kenny, thank you for joining us. Last time, I, I don't know what happened, you went off and I was calling for you. So I've actually put you down on the list. Um, but can you stay on? You need to be on when I, I do it for you. So I will pull one out for you, just stay on. I just want to say thank you to Kathleen for her for her comments on what we said the other night on uh, the other night day for me as it, as it was then about her that, sorry? Kathleen and her ghost hunting. Oh, is Kathleen on? Yeah, yeah. I uh, thank you for that. Yeah, she's going to go and do it again, which is brilliant. I'd lo I'd love to come and join you. I really would. It's something I want to do. <laughs> I'd I'd love, love oh my goodness, I would love, oh there she is, I can see, all right, yeah, yeah, good. yeah she has to go, but um, it's, uh, it's thank you for though, for popping in, that's fantastic. Yeah, thank you, for, thank you for letting us know, and um, you have a, a great um, night, day, I can't remember, I'm gone, yeah, thank you, and uh, yeah, just pop in when you do. Let us know when you're doing it because if you're going to do a live stream, I, will, I want to be watching that. Yeah. I actually want to be there in person. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. If, if we can't be there, that's the second best thing. You know? Yeah. That's the second best thing. But uh, um, I've pulled out a card for uh, Liz. Geraldine, you're next after Liz. Just so that because I think she's been waiting. She, just let me know that you're still on there. Now, Liz, while I was doing yours, um, a few cards fell out. So with me, when they, when they not fell out, they're like zoom out. <laughs> so I'm going to read them like together. And they're actually pointing to the same sort of thing. And it, it's all about like, um, like the relationship and um, guidance and having confidence. So... With these cards um, and even just tuning into them, I'm getting that um, for you to listen to the guidance that's, you're getting guidance and the messages are coming into you. Sometimes we think it might be ourselves that ha has answered ourselves, but you're actually getting a message from your angels, uh, from your guides that they're answering perhaps something you've been thinking about. You'll notice it by like something all of a sudden popping in your head and you think, oh, yeah, you know. They, they, you're being answered like that. And I have a feeling it's to do with um, the questions that you're or the answers that you're seeking and you need to listen to that are being given to you in your heart through like in your mind, but they're coming from your angels through your heart. Um, I, I feel like it's to do with a relationship. Now, a relationship could be um, a romantic relationship, or it could also be 
a friendship or a working relationship with or with friends. So um, the the guidance that you're getting with the things that are popping into your mind, I'm being told that you need to trust them. They're, that's actually like, it's your intuition. They're going through your intuition and they're giving you the answers and I'm being guided to tell you to trust to trust them. It is trustworthy guidance and to have confidence in that. You'll find that as you start listening to that, you'll think, wow, that was right. <gasps> you know, or sometimes you might not listen to it and then you say, oh, my goodness, it did turn out that way. I should have done what, you know, what I felt within myself. And it's having confidence in that. And when that keeps occurring, you know, that's what you need to do. That's what you need to um, follow. So I hope that that resonates with you. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's right. No, I'm just going, wow. Um, yeah. Hello, Liz, again. Um, I know we did a little bit of a reading for you uh, the other day. So, you know, um, I hope I can pick something up for yourself. Um, because normally it takes a while um, to... If we if we keep giving messages messages to people, you know, eventually you, you run out of everything, and then you have to let that go through the system, as it were, before you can move on. Um, but uh, they they're, they're telling me with you meditation again, I th uh, meditation. Think start thinking about your meditation. I know you already. I think you already do this, but. Uh, Meditation just seems to be uh, one of the main things that seem to be uh, a need to occur for yourself. But uh, there are a lot of things that you still, that, that you need to take note of and things that, <laughs> they, they, it's like, I know this is going to, it's like you're hiding again. It's like people are hiding. Why are people hiding away from you? I don't know why. I get people are hiding from you. Okay? I don't know why. It's not that you scare them. It's more that than, it's like they've done something. And <clears throat> it's like a little child. You know, when a little kitty or a puppy does something wrong. You know, and they hide away from you so, because they don't want you to uh, bring that. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to tell them off, basically. Yeah. It's like somebody's just hiding away. And it's, but be, be positive with this person and nice and calm because they didn't mean it. It was just one of those things. You know, they're learning, just like just like you are, okay? And <clears throat> that person will grow will grow up to be a very nice person. Or yeah, that yeah, um, because of your learnings as well, because they have a gift around them too, okay? And I do believe that they're seeing angels and things in their life but uh yeah i don't know why i don't know why i've got to say this but um today is the day you change your life okay <clears throat> i don't know why i've got to say that and uh go with it but that that could go to everybody okay as well okay enjoy it and thank you for, for coming through, Liz. And I hope everything resonated with yourself. Because at the moment, it's a bit, you know, up and down with yourself. But you'll be fine. Just keep smiling. Keep going. Just enjoy. And don't, don't forget to close the gate. Because, you know, close the gate on the old stuff. And move on with a new.
Hmm. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. It's okay, Geraldine, you didn't miss your reading. I, I, I've got it ready here and I was going to make sure that it was working for you before I did it. Geraldine was just having a problem. Her internet's her down. But yeah. Yeah. Um, Liz, it looks like we were both spot on. Thank you so much for that feedback. It's I really appreciate the um, the validation. You and you are most welcome. And thank you for joining us too. So yes, yes. I'm, I'm just trying to find it because I went a bit too far. Comments went flying through, so I missed it. Yeah, that's why I've been writing the names down to do the readings because I miss it after and then I forget who was next. So, okay, Geraldine. Hmm. I have for you um, the perfect timing card. And you... There is something that has inspired you and it's I, the feeling that I get from this is that it's going to be provided to you. You're inspired to do something. You've had some sort of inspiration to do something, participate in something or something different, uh, maybe a New Year's resolution. But uh, I feel that whatever you, you've set your heart on that you've, you're desiring at the moment, it's um, going to be given to you. And all you need to do is make sure you're open to receive it. You know, um, you know sometimes something looks too good to be true and you're thinking, nah, that can't be right. I, I was just thinking about that before the how much I wanted it, you know, just receive it, just accept it. So I'm being guided to tell you to accept it. I hope it's something really nice. You deserve something really nice, Geraldine. So I hope that resonates with you. I don't know if it's something that's just happened or it's about to happen. Okay. Yes, spot on. Okay. <laughs> I'd love to know what it is because just the way that the, these cards have come out, I thought, oh, I wonder what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, with with Geraldine, you know, um, you know, you you are there, and like I've been finding with a few, well, all the people tonight, that they all had a bit of a <laughs> bit of laughter in their lives, but sometimes you have to, you know, you you. <laughs> At the moment, let's, let's, let's just go on. Let's just focus on the happiness because there's so much happiness running through you at the moment. A lot of people, if they hold on to you, they will grab that energy, that great energy away from you, or not away from you, but they'll they'll take on that wonderful energy that you have too. You know, I, I get it too, where people walk into my bubble, as it were, and they smile, they're happy, um, and that's what you seem to do. Uh, you seem to have that uh, that wonderfulness that brings people up. Okay, you have that wonderfulness that um, that just brings everybody into the place that they want to be, even if it's for that moment that are only around you. Okay, but there's a there's something else that they're showing me. I don't know why they're showing me a lake, you know, like with uh, with ducks. And swans and things. I don't know why. Who's who's been feeding the ducks today? <laughs> who's been feeding the ducks? Because I am. I don't know. I, yeah, it's like you've been for a walk or or thinking about going for this walk, and it's yeah, it's just it's a lovely, lovely place because it's it's like you're you're walking with. It's either grandchildren or children, little, little small children, and you're teaching them not to go too close to the water without supervision. It's like that sort of thing as well. But it's like a family thing where you've all gone out and and enjoyed enjoyed the day. I know it's been cold and everything, but you still need to get out and enjoy what's around, you know? And it just feels like you're all going for a nice little walk. 
just so that you're not stuck inside, you know. And it's it looks it looks because I'm sure it was the same here. We had bright sunshine, but it was freezing cold. But it was beautiful out there when she got out there. But I can I can if I let this go, it would be amazing. All I want to do is burst out into laughter. I just want to burst out into laughter. Seriously, with you. Yeah, because I do believe because in that moment today, because of that walk, you were just all enjoying it. It was so fun. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to, I do, I just want to burst into laughter. And, oh, wow. What a, what an amazing thing. And this is yeah. it's like a big belly laugh. A big belly laugh. <laughs> And it's amazing because we all should do this. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, you keep going. You keep taking out that wonderfulness with you. Okay. I know there's sometimes where where you do come down. But if you keep going on with what this laughter and this happiness is doing to you at the moment, right? Wow. Okay. Just keep going. Yeah. Because if I was walking down the street, I'd know you straight away because of that wonderful laughter and happiness that's around you. Okay? <laughs> I would. But uh, thank you for coming through, Geraldine. I hope that uh, resonated with yourself. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like I say, keep smiling and laughing because it, it's helping so many other people too because it's infectious. That laughter. It's like singing a song and everybody sings it you're singing that to them that laughter to them yeah so thank you thank you for coming through yeah <laughs> thank you um do you know uh geraldine i'm not surprised that um the cards illuminated to me and um it makes sense now because i felt like the everything that you were going to be given um your your desires it was like it was a like you were being blessed and um it was coming down like a blessing and uh and in a illumination like i felt really illuminated and now that i saw what you're looking to do i'm not surprised that is the, the best, the most beautiful thing anyone could ever do. And you imagine the, um, you know, the inspiration and the love and, and how the, your guidance will affect someone's life like that, you know. Uh, obviously, like, they don't have that at the moment. And just getting that from you and your love, um, you're being blessed. I, I don't know if you're a religious person, but you know you're being blessed from God, the or you know the Creator for what you're doing, and and that is fantastic, fantastic. Good on you. Okay, um, I'm trying to because uh, I miss out on the uh, comments. Right. Um, I don't know how far up it is to read the comments. That's okay. They just go fast. I've actually got Kenny next, and Kenny is still on, which is good. Last time I missed you, Kenny. And um, I know that you asked me a question. Um, we don't <clears> – <throat> with a question, I would do a full spread uh, so that I can look at all aspects and even, like, whether that will work out or what you need to do to make that work out. But that would be something I would need to focus on you for. So um, mm -hmm. you would need to book a private reading for that. And uh, we, I could give you all the attention and focus just on you and in the areas that you want. And also, yeah, it'll be more private. But <clears throat> what I, I've pulled out for you, Kenny, is... Um, the, the love card from the angels and it's almost like a, an unconditional love and the message that I've got for you is to look past errors that have been made maybe that affect you 
or misunderstandings that affect you, things that have gone wrong that perhaps have affected you moving to where you wanted to go or to taking a step to go to that. Things happen for a reason and sometimes we might not be ready for a certain thing. And um, But don't be disappointed. Don't feel down. Still hold your hopes up high and look at it with love. Um, it's the, we, we have, um, things are already mapped out for us. So there is a way that we need to go. And sometimes even if we, we want it straight away, you might have to wait. There may be things that you still need to learn. So when certain disappointments happen, look at it with love and know, okay, um, it's don't feel bad at someone don't um just still hold love within yourself and know that if that wasn't for you you will be going in the direction that is meant for you and is your purpose but always keep that love in your heart so i hope that helps you kenny but um we'll see if uh, paul can get anything for you but before paul starts um, I do have you on the list, Josephine, and you're actually next. So please stay on. I'll pull one out for you. I'm okay now, Paul. Thank you. Yes, uh, with, with Kenny, uh, um, because uh, my, myself and um, Savannah read, di <coughs> read differently, you know, she does the cards and I just, I just get the information through my head, basically. Um, but while I was getting with yourself, it's like you're crossing a bridge and there's a gate halfway across that bridge, okay? And the door, it's like you can only open the door, you, you've only opened that gate so far. Yeah, you need to open that gate as far as it will go. You need to open that gate as far as it will go because you need to get across the other side of that bridge because the, the next part of your journey needs to start because you've been putting this journey on hold a lot. It's like you've been getting to that point. Even you've, you've gone backwards, yeah, and you don't need to go backwards, okay? Because if, as I can see, there, there's a lot of people looking to help you they're, they're there to guide you you know because I, I do believe there's something it may be to do with work but it's to do with learning anyway where they want to teach you more on what you're trying to achieve okay and if you if you don't go through that gate again like I've said to a few people today you're not going to get anywhere you're just going to keep back and forward, back and forward. You'll be like, like a yo-yo, yeah? But you now need to bite the bullet, grab the ball by the horns, take a leap of faith, whatever you want to say. You just need to go for it because you are, again, you don't realise how much what you're going to do is going to help others as well because you'll be turning around and looking for others to help, Okay. So you will be like the person that starts to help people and those people that were helping you are then going to move on and they'll move their journeys on. Okay, it's like a little promotion for you um, and a promotion for them too. So it's like you're moving up the ladder as much as they are. Okay, and, and yeah, it looks like a good promotion, but you keep going no am i good enough am i good enough am i good enough you're good enough just move it move it forward but it is always your choice we can give you the words but we can't tell you what to do but if you you'll wonder how or what would have happened if you don't move forward you know you'll get to an old age and go oh, why didn't i do that why didn't i do that earlier you know because you need to do it I do believe you need to do it. And, um, uh, I, yeah, they're using this uh, um, this wording as well. 
you need to give yourself a kick up the bum sometimes because you're much better than you think you are. Okay? It's like you've got that um, energy that, like I say, will lift people too. It's like you're you're trying to go into that, into the spiritual world sense. You know, it's like you you want to be, yeah, you just want to move up the ladder. Okay? But you'll get there, but you've just got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in who you are. You've got to believe that you can make it. Yeah? Because once you start shut, because we have to go through gate after gate after gate, because in between those gates, you got the challenges. And if the, you know, the challenges seem too much, then you will be, uh, you know, we don't go nowhere. But like I've said before, look at, look at us on here. We didn't think we'd be doing this. I didn't think I'd be doing, I didn't think I'd be doing what I'm doing. But I took all those leaps, leaps of faith and I'm just keep going because I want to see where it takes me. I want to see how all those happy faces, yeah, and that's what I want you to be. I want you to be that happy face and then turn around and guide others towards you to have that happy face as well. And the ones that move on, they'll have the happy face. So it's like a line of people that are going to have happy faces just by you moving forward. So I hope that resonated with yourself. And uh, I do apologise for everyone. My throat seems to be um, <clears throat> at the moment. I need to get some uh, cough sweets, but I haven't got any at the moment. But thank you for coming through, Kenny. Like I say, I hope that resonated with yourself. And, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I hope that was that helped you. I, I know... Um, uh, and, and as I say, say to everybody, um, you get what you need and not what you want from our readings, okay? Um, because if you're looking for something and you, and you don't get it, don't be shocked. It's just the way it works. That's just the way it works. It's what you're meant to get. It's what you're meant to get. So thank you. I, I just want to make sure Josephine is still on. Um, while I'm waiting to check and make sure she's still on, I just want to let everybody know that um, I have posted a link to our YouTube channel in the, or it's a pinned comment in the comments. We do randomly do uh, go on there live, uh, just like we do Facebook and we do readings on there. So if you click on that and subscribe, you'll get a notification or also hit the bell. You'll get a, a notification to tell you when we are on live so that you can join us on there. And um, I also have posted links to our both our Facebook pages. If you would like a private reading, you can book that yeah. with us through the pages uh, so that we can focus just on you. We can see you on camera, um, which gives us, uh, we're able to tune in um, directly to you without distraction and we can even, well, even with myself, you know, you can ask particular questions and I'll, I'll see what, what, I, what I get for you from my spreads. But as Paul said, um, sometimes we ask certain things and we're not really given a direct answer because um, there are still lessons that you need to learn um, before you can know what is actually going to or what direction it's going to take. And you are given what you need and not what you want, um, which is, yes. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I, I don't know if Kevin was still on, but it'd be nice to get some feedback on what he was saying or what I was saying and what Savannah was saying. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, some validation on that. He please. might be gone. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but um, I hope... He, he got all of that. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Um, Josephine, you are, you're still here. Fantastic. Okay. So what I've got for you, um, it's the, I've got the creative card for you. I'll actually be interested to know where you're from. Um, but from this, I, I'm just getting that, 
you have a desire to express yourself through um, creativity. Um, you have a creativeness within you, uh, an outlet. So whether it's something to do with like painting or crafting, there you do have something that is creative and it's like your passion, your love to release your energy in that and you do it so wonderfully. I'm being directed to tell you that you may have limitations as to how you like in what you do, um, whether it's your exposure or financial as to what you have access to, but the 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 message is to let you know that the limitation is a power because it grows you more within. It makes you more creative in what it is that you do. Um, it makes you more creative and teaches you to work within your resources and actually turn them into something beautiful. So I hope that helps you um, and that it resonates with you. But I'd be interested to know, yeah, just if you just leave a comment there, I, I'd really appreciate it. Mm. Oh, okay, you've taken up photography. That's fantastic. Well, that must be what it's about. Yeah, that's great. Well, what I'm getting from this is that um, it, it was made for you. You just have that streak in you that the, because people exert their energy in different ways and yours is towards the creative side. Sorry, Paul. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, didn't, I, I, was getting you, I was letting you get all your excitement out. I, I get excited when I get validation. I, I do. I still, it, it's always new to me. It's never, you know, it's just great. I love mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, hello, Josephine. Uh, thank you for coming on to the, as what we call, our show. And, uh, yeah, it's nice to see you. Yeah, I, I do get a lot of... Uh, and, and I got lots of smiles with yourself because of something similar to what, you know, I've said before, you know, it's something that you, you wanted to do for a very, very long time. And now you just want to move. You want to know in yourself, can I move it forward? Can I go and do this on my own? Can I go and, you know, can I go and make this my own thing can i can i impress people with what i have can i yeah it's like you've got so many questions yeah take one one step at a time and you you'll get there okay but i do believe you already know this uh, a lot of the time people come to us and they just want that validation just from other people okay and you just want that validation um to move on shall i go into uh the this side of the this, um the business shall i go into that side of the business shall i learn this shall i learn that and you think wow if if i could that's what, what a lot of people do this is why people move on because they've got questions and you will you will see the answers even if it's not within yourself, through other people. Okay. And, and I don't know why I'm seeing this. I'm seeing a van as well with your, with a name of a company upon it. Okay. I don't know where this is coming from, but it's, it seems like just like a white van with black, black writing on it, just to, you know, and, and you take it, or, you know, you, it's your, it's like a works van, yeah, and you take it around and and yeah. So, and I also see business cards as well being dished out. You want to get yourself out there as much as possible because um, if I heard um, Savannah correctly, you do a bit of photography as well. But uh, a lot of people do photography and they and. I, I, so many avenues for what you do, yeah. But this seems to be like a like a beginning, 
you've been doing it for years, but this is like a new beginning. Yeah. And you want to take it forward further than you've ever thought of taking it. But there are going to be people that are going to be asking for you all the time because, um, and I know this has most probably not been in your head. It most probably has weddings and things like that. Okay. Wedding photos, um, I don't know, birthdays, every opportunity to take a photo, you will be taking it. Ba babies, you know, just, <laughs> just, and yeah. But a lot of people will come to you because you've got that wonderfulness around you. And, and you most probably are not going to believe this. You have the angels around you too, because you were meant to do this many years ago. Okay, it's like what I said to the young man earlier. You were meant to do this earlier in life, but you still had to learn. Okay, you still had to learn and you were being pushed into the learning more than just going for it, as it were. But you wanted to do it earlier. If you had took it on earlier, you wouldn't have got as far as you are, as far as you have now. You just need to, uh, yeah, you're, you're going to be amazing, you know. If if when we look on on um, on the on the internet or something, and we see somebody with a name Josephine Twibble, we um, photographs and things, we'll go. We spoke to her, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, just you you know which way to go. You've just got to make those choices in which area to work on first but don't do it all at once because you'll 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 uh, your head won't work it will just panic 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 then yeah but i hope that resonated with yourself and uh yeah thank you for coming through and coming to to present you know to uh to help us on our on our journey too Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Josephine. Thank you. I hope that resonated, though. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like it really does. It looks like it really does. That's fantastic. And I hope it all really works out for you, Josephine. Um, okay. Okay, sorry about that. I'm just trying to toggle between all these screens. Where am I? Okay, I'm back there. <laughs> okay, so, um, Cindy, I'm from Australia, Melbourne in Australia, and Paul is in the UK. But uh, I just want to let everyone know again that, you know, it, we do have the link to our YouTube channel pinned to the comments for when we do our lives from YouTube. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe and click on the bell, you'll be get or you'll get a notification um, once um, we do go on live and you can join just like on here for the readings. But um, just... Okay, so Jen, I've pulled out a card for you. Um, Jen, what I've pulled out for you is um, it's the chakra clearing card, but I'm, I'm just pausing because I'm just uh, just tapping in and tuning in with you. And in saying that, I feel like I need to ask if Andrew is on there again. If, if you're still on, Andrew, let me know. Hi, Melody. Um, I, I'm feeling that I'm actually feeling what you're feeling at the moment and I feel like I'm stagnant, uh, like I'm feeling blocked. And it's to do with your chakras. So 
your uh, Andrew is better at this, but um, you may have a chakra that's blocked or needs clearing. Now, the angels are guiding me to tell you, um, I think that you probably know what's causing this um, stagnant, being stagnant and um, your... Um, you need to be honest with yourself. So I think you might even be in denial about something. Um, I'm being asked to tell you not to be frustrated, to t take it, like, just take a moment, take a breath and be honest with yourself uh, because in continuing this, you're going to feel more heavy, more blocked. Now, well, once you do this, it will become clearer to you. Maybe you're confused. You have some sort of confusion, but there is something that is not good for you, not good for your soul, for yourself, for your well-being. Now, you need to have some healing um, with, through, with your chakras for what the damage that you have already. Um, just to clear them and help you to to move on. I don't think Andrew is on any, on um, at the moment, but um, he is actually an energy healer and could help you with that. Um, we do um, with a private reading. We could probably give you more guidance and focus more in this area, but um, there is something that is um, feeling heavy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm saying yep, 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 Paul, because I'm responding to Jen's messages here okay. on um, yep. comments. Yeah, because I, I I actually, I, I'm feeling what you're, what it's like I'm inside you, um, like I'm feeling what you're feeling, and I do. I And what I'm describing now is how I'm feeling, that it's like I have a really heavy feeling and I need to lift it, I need to clear it, and but there is something that's causing this. So I think you need to do some reflection. If you meditate, that would be the best thing. Um, yeah. But um, it, is, it is more directed to your chakras. So for myself, when I feel like that, I meditate and I do a meditation on your chakras. And if you're interested, message me after this live and I will send you a link to a YouTube meditation. I think it goes for about, I think it might be 15, 20 minutes. And it's all on the chakras. And... Um, there's one that I do that you actually visualize the colors of each chakra and the tone, the that music, the tone of the music that they have really, the vibration of it really vibrates and you could feel it. You can just feel it clearing out and, and lifting up. And I really feel that that's something that you could benefit from, um, Jen. So um, let me know, send me a message and I'll um, send you a link after the show if you're interested in that. But um, we could, okay, I'll, um, I'll just write it down so that I remember. Are you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I, no, I haven't finished, I haven't finished. I'm writing it down because I'm she sorry. does want to think because I, the way my memory is, I'll forget. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so I just wrote that down so I don't forget. And um, but you you could probably also benefit from a private reading. I'll um, put our links on there again, but uh, all the best to you, um, Jeff. We'll see if Paul can get something for you as well. Why are you said we said it all? <laughs> I'm sorry, I it just I really felt it, I could feel it. Oh, it's fine, so it's fine. To take a moment to take shake it off, yeah. No, 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 it's all right, it's all right. Um, with, with, right, with Jen, okay, um, um, the first thing I got with her was, as you've already said, was the weight upon her head, and it feels like she's being crushed to the floor, it's like she's shrinking, and she can't get out of that moment, um, 
it's like she's standing in the corner and she's going round in circles and yeah, you know, it's just basically saying what you just said. But there there are ways of getting out of this which you do need to do. Um, but you know which um, you know Savannah's going to send you that. But there's also other things that that are not involving that side of the message. I get you just need to get out. You just need to get outside and get into <clears throat> get into uh, the fresh air. You need to. It's like I know this is going to sound a bit weird to some people, but you need to get out and stop being. It feels like you're a recluse. It's like you're staying home too much. It's like you're not exploring what is around you. Yeah. It's like you're just focusing on that one thing, okay? I do believe that if you get out into nature, go for walks, just get out there and just enjoy what's around you, things will start to happen, okay? But I do believe that there's something that you've always wanted to do, but you're still too scared to do it, okay? Like I, like I say to a lot of people, when the time is right, you will do it. Okay? But don't keep putting it off. Because the more you put it off, the less time that, uh, that you, you'll have to do it. Because sometimes there's these, these tests that we do, we can't keep doing them. But we, we do, well, the way I look at it, Life is challenges, and when when we don't do these challenges, all it does is puts us further back on our journey, okay? And our journey then, it's, you know, the closer you get to old age, as it were, you know, it takes longer to, you know, ah, I don't know how to explain it. It just seems longer the further you get, and you get the further you get away from, what you feel you should do but but yeah just keep going they will happen if you want them to yeah okay and it's it's amazing what you do okay you are an amazing person so keep going and look out look at look what I'm getting is look without look outside the box. Yeah, look outside the box. Because what is outside the box is where you want to go. Because if you keep looking within, you've already seen all that. It's like watching repeats on the tally. Yeah, you've seen all that. Now get out there, give yourself a push if you have to. There are people there that are trying again, there are people out there that are trying to pull you out. I do believe uh, some of, I don't know why, I get a mother figure that's trying to help you, okay? Somebody is seriously trying to help you, but they're not, you're not, sorry, noticing the signs. You're not noticing them signs. Start opening your eyes, looking towards, you, because you'll know this person, this person will, you know, will guide you. Yeah. There, there are, yeah. But this person also needs a bit of guidance. So it'd be working both ways. Yeah. So it works both ways. It's like you're helping each other at the same at the same time. Go for walks with each other, you know. But you also need to get out there on your own to enjoy what you offer um yeah i know it sounded a bit weird and a bit all over the place but you know as i say you get what you need not what you want okay but uh, thank you for coming through jen okay and uh, hopefully it resonated with yourself and uh, yeah thank you thank you 
Yeah. Get some of those uh, validations. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> thank you. Yeah. Yes, yep. thank you so much for your validation, Jen, and for joining us. Um, I'm just uh, pulling out a card for Anne and uh, see what I can get for Anne. And if there is, yeah, it is Maureen, isn't it? And I still get a, I, I get a chill each time as well. It, it just, it, it feels good even to be able to help people with, um, you know, and know that you've hit on what their situation is. Uh, so that you can help them and, you know, open their eyes. Um, now, Anne. All right. Um, now, is it Leanna or Leanna? I'm thinking Leanna, but I'll put you on the list. So, um, okay. So, Anne, what I've got for you is... Um, the steady progress card and it's it looks like um, perhaps that you're on a venture at the moment that you want you want to be you're here but you want to be two steps ahead and I think where you are here it doesn't feel comfortable you want it to you want to bypass it so that you can be the two steps ahead I'm feeling that um, you do have a fear of where that, that step where you are now. And I, you may be facing a challenge, perhaps. There is some sort of fear around it. And you, you kind of like want to bypass it and go those two steps ahead and be in that position rather than have to go through this. You'll find that um, because I've pulled it's a little bit similar to what I had for Jen, where um, you, you're kind of weighed down and you need to clear your chakras, you need to clear um, yourself within so that you feel comfortable to go through this and you find that you will. And by doing that, it will open your eyes. You'll see your pathway um, lighted up. You'll know which way to go to overcome this particular challenge so that you can go to the best part, which is the two steps ahead. Um, you can do this also. I find myself, and as I've even uh, recommended to Jen, meditation really helps. But then I guess we're not all, um, a lot of, some people aren't used to meditation and it's hard but um, I can send you a link as well, if you like, uh, what I was going to send to Jen. But I think that that would really help you uh, just to, I'm being told it's going to be a steady progress and you will get there, but you need to overcome this first. And uh, it's like everything, it's a lesson in life. So you, you'll, when you get to the two steps ahead, you'll think, yes, I know now, I, I needed to work on that to get here because now, I'm in a better position and I, I have a better understanding. So I hope that that's resonated with you and um, that that has helped you. And let me know if you want me to send you a link as well. But um, yes, this is Anne, Paul. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. It's all right. I'm looking. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. Hello, Anne. Hope you're well. Well. Um, yeah, um, I don't know why the first thing I've been showing with you is <clears throat> you need to um, just take control of what's going on, okay? Just take control of who you are, what you are, and what you do. I know I seem to say this to a lot of people lately, uh, but... Let me go somewhere else, but yeah, you just need to take control of yourself and, and you need to understand where your path is, okay? Because I do believe that, you know, 
<laughs> sometimes your path doesn't take you where you want to. We already know that one, but you know, your path isn't <clears throat> always clear. Okay. You need it's like you need to put it's like you're going through the jungle and you need to chop the path down. Okay, it's like you're struggling to get through that path. Okay, you're struggling to get through because you know, like the thorns are catching you and everything. It's just like you can't, you can't sink. The, the, the more you chop it down, the more it grows. Okay, and it's just like the bits you've chopped down just grow straight back. So it's just taking you so long. You've just got to believe that you're going to get to that end of that problem that moment in in your journey okay but once you do that again like I keep telling everybody you then need to start moving forward but you still need to notice the clues notice the moments that will help you okay you will understand this when when you start to see them but you've got to open your mind up to it You've got to open your mind to, because I do believe that you will um, move. I don't know. I don't know. It's like you. Once you come out of this, you, you, you will. Yeah, they just keep putting you back. They, they just keep putting you back into a black hole, and I don't know why. Well, I do, but, you know, it's like you're worried about everything. Yeah, It's just like you're worried so much about so much what's on, uh, that's around you. We all have problems, okay, and, but you need to get yourself out of them, yeah? I do believe, yeah, okay, I, I'm getting there's, there's money involved, but we all get that. Don't worry about that. Take Take it as it comes. Take it as it comes, one at a time, like I've been saying to others. Yeah, and take the chances where you feel you should take them, because I do, I do believe that Pete, some people, or some things are being placed there, but they're being placed two or three places, and it's the same thing, right? You've got to choose which one it is. It's like the three cups, okay, with a P underneath. You've got to find which one it is, okay? You've got to find out which one it is, and once you find that, yeah? So we, we, it's like I'm showing you different ways to get out of it, out of it, but you, I do believe you already know some of the answers. You just write them down as well, please. Write, write the answers down in a book and, and um, keep going from there. But if you don't... <sighs> I don't want you to be stuck in a corner. I don't want you to be stuck in a hole because you, because it's like what I said to somebody earlier, you're, you're going back into, you're retreating more than you're going forward. Yeah. It's like you're retreating and you, you've got the blink, uh, the, the blindfold on and you can't find your way out. Yeah. And I know I keep repeating myself, but you, this is what I seem to do if people, and not listening to themselves. I just keep repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay? And that's what I'm being told. And, I, and that's why I'm repeating it so much. You just need to keep push, push, push and find the answers. Yeah? But don't give up. Because the more you give up, the more you stay in that hole. The more you have the, blink, uh, like the, the covers on. Okay? And I can see that... Oh... Yeah, it's just like you are, oh God, what well, not again, you know. And, and but come on, like I said to the other uh, the bloke, you know, a bit earlier, or someone a bit earlier, kick yourself up the bum. You know you can do it. Everybody can do it. They just need that confidence, that leap of faith, that you know, that belief again in themselves to move forward, okay? And uh, yeah, 
I hope that resonated with yourself, but I do apologise for repeat repeating it a lot, but it's like you've been told so many times you, you've not, you know, and you've not still not moved it on and you're still, you know, you, you want to hear it so many times. Okay. But if you keep doing that, then like I say, you'll, you'll be stuck and you won't go nowhere. But you now need to take it on. It's your choice. Yeah. We can only give you the words. You're the one who has to do the work. Okay. It's not an easy fix, but go for it. We all come out of it. Yeah. If you want to, though. Mm. But you will, because I, I still feel there's some, you know, there's still some fight in you. Mm. So thank you, Anne. Thank you for coming through and sharing sharing yourself with us and, uh, you know, coming to visit us on our, on our little show. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that resonated with yourself. Thank yeah. you. And I've just responded to one of your comments, and I hope Jen is still on listening. I've resp responded to her comment. Um, I just realised if I send you the link through mine, it'll go in your message requests and you won't see it. So if you just send a message to the page and then I'll reply to it, at least then you'll get it, you'll see the message um, and I'll send you the link. Um, so, yeah, if you when you do that, I'll, I'll send the link back to you after this live. Um, now, I, I hope I'm going to say this right because I had a look at the way you wrote it. And um, Leona... Uh, so it, it looks like Leanna, but it's actually pronounced Leona. That's how she she seen, she worded it out. And I, I have a feel. I hope it's right. But um, I've um, pulled out a card for you, and um, it's all about. Um, it's the self creation card, and this is all about remembering who you are. So sometimes we stray into what other people want us to be or we listen to a lot of people and we follow their advice and we follow what they want for us. I'm being told to tell you, remember who you are. Um, you're here for a reason and you're unique. So you were created to project and to bring into this world your own gifts and um so i'm being guided to tell you to remember who you are um perhaps this is another one where meditation would help you un unless you're already doing that where it will help you not to listen not to be i know this might not sound good but not to follow the herd uh, so that's what i'm being guided don't follow the herd because You've got your own destination, your own destiny and fate. So um, look within, um, look within your heart to find the answers. Don't go to other people. Don't listen to other people. And you need to always remember your, who you are, you at your essence. So I hope that that helps you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you've been carrying on. So um, I thought I'd leave it for a couple of seconds to see where you went. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, okay. Um, hello, Liana. Um, yeah, thank you for coming through, by the way, and uh, coming coming to us for like mini readings and stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> Again, this this lady has some. Some nice smiles, some nice smiles in her. You know, some, she's got the happiness around her, but I also see that she also hides the happiness too when she leaves everybody. You know, that happiness just seems to ebb away. It's like a false happiness sometimes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. No one, no one should be like that. No one should be like that. 
But uh, also, I know I'm going to say this. I don't know why I'm seeing flowers with yourself. There's lots of flowers. I do believe you're being presented those through through the spirit world. Okay. Okay. And it's like you're, you're one of these people also that wants to be at the front of places. Yeah. It's like you want to be at the front of everywhere so that you can learn. Yeah. You want to learn. But some of the things you want to learn haven't arisen yet. Okay. They're there. They're around you, but you're not not ready yet. Okay. You just need to wait and and just keep doing as you're doing, apart from the, you know, like hiding within yourself. Yeah. It's like Again, once you once you release that negative side of your life, yeah, and just keep focusing on the positive side of your life, you will be amazed at, again at who you are, what you are. Because I do believe many years, well, not that many years ago, you were you were like this, but something's happened to take your to take your belief out of you. Yeah, it's still there, but it's like a lot of people do if they're not happy. Yeah, what they tend to do, they go out, they see their friends, and if their friends say, oh, how are you? And you'll go, yeah, I'm fine, I'm brilliant. But inside you're going, no, I wish I could tell them the truth. Yeah. But... Uh, you are, you are an amazing lady. You've just got to keep looking, looking for yourself. It's like you are looking for yourself, but you are, you want to learn, but you need to. If the, because I, I see you're at the front of the stage, all right, but there's nothing on the stage yet because you haven't actually found what you want to learn. Okay. But once it once it comes into your eye line, and, and that happens with everything that you do, and that's what you used to do, yeah. You used to learn and learn and learn, yeah. But it just takes you away from. It brings you forward. It brings you forward to what your, yeah. But it's even the learning. It's like yeah, okay. I'll put it on. Put it on the side. I want to learn it, but I'll put it on the side. And then you forget about it because the other side of you comes in. Yeah. I don't, I, I honestly don't know why we all do this. We, we've ne when you're born, you're not like this. Nobody's like this. It's what this world does to us. Okay. You, if we could learn all the way through and just be fantastic all the way through, this world would be a wonderful place. But there's too much. There's always two sides to a coin. And you're, it's like the coin standing up for you. Yeah. It's like the coin standing up. And you've got to work which side do I want? Yeah. Which side do I want in my life more? The negative or the positive? Write it down. Write it in a book. Positives on one page, negatives on another. Yeah, just write it down or just write a diary. Yeah, and keep referring back to it every month and just going that way. Okay, but oh, I could carry on, but thank you, Liana. Oh, by the way, there is an angel around you too that, that keeps helping you, keeps pushing you forward, but they're not, they're, they're still, they're saying exactly what I'm saying. You need to do some work too. You can't let the spirit world do all the work or other people do all the work. You've got to do it yourself. And this is why I do believe it would be nice for you to start to do these courses and understand these things more. Yeah. And not put them down to one side. Yeah. Just 
just go with it. Just go for it and keep smiling. Yeah, but thank you, Liana. And thank you for coming through and you know, coming to our little show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <sighs> thank you. I hope that goes not my way. Thank you. Um, I um, just wanted to let everybody know that I have pinned the link to our YouTube channel in the comments. We will be doing these lives randomly on YouTube. Uh, so if you subscribe and click on the bell for notifications, you will be notified when we do our lives on there. And you can, um, you can also... Um, join in like we do here you can join in like we do here and um where we will do readings for everyone and um we i've also pasted a link to both our pages in the comments so that if you would like to book a private reading you can message either one of us um, I have received a message from you, Anne, and I will forward that to you after this live. I haven't got one from Jen yet, so I don't, I don't think I'll see if I can contact her. Um, but we, I, I'd like to thank everyone that has joined in for um, into our chat and some readings. We don't just do readings. We also just chat about anything. Definitely, um, definitely. Sometimes, uh, you know, you can be in too much of a solitude or on your own, um, you know, or not be able to connect with other people. And we're here even just to talk about anything. So yeah. it's not all about readings. Um, mm. I've noticed a few more people have come on and um, I don't have anyone else on my list for a reading. I don't. Um, so if, if anyone would like a reading... Oh, me. Oh, well, it's a, actually, I just pull out a card. I, I do go in depth and uh, focus on you. Doesn't it take you to a link? It, it's in the pinned comments, um, Cindy. I'm just going to try it out from another page here. Yeah, I've just clicked it and it does take me there. So... Um, you, you, it's in, you know, the blue highlighted line, that's the actual link. Um, I'll see if it works if you click on the picture. Yeah, even clicking on that picture takes me there. Um, otherwise, what you could do is highlight that link, that YouTube link, and then go into another tab and paste it into the URL section and press enter and it, it should that should take you straight there as well. Um, but yes, Donna, I think I remember you said your name's Tegan, is that right? Um, I, I, I wasn't sure if you were still on, so I can put you on the list. Just let me know, is it Tegan or Donna? And hi, Catherine. Yes, Cindy, let me know how you go. But, yeah, it should work like that. Hi, Ange, how are you? Uh, oh, that was your daughter. <laughs> okay, so am, am I pulling out a card for you? It's just so I, I know how to, because I focus on the person when I do it. Mm. Just let me know, because I'll do you now. So who, um, who are we actually giving a, a, a card to now? Because well, I'm I, trying to, yeah. Cause, no, I've just, start, I've, like yourself, I've, I've noticed that uh, we've got a few more people coming on and it's amazing that all these wonderful people are finding us and uh, we appreciate every single one of them. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to. I'm going to pull out one just for you. Um, it will be unfair to everyone else. Um, you can book a private reading. Um, if you, you both you and your daughter want um, cards and things, but uh, it, it would be fair, unfair. Um, if you want, you let me know which one you want me to do, um, but I'll only do one because we've got quite a few people on here that are waiting um, for a yes. reading. Yes. Yeah, Catherine. Catherine. 
but you can book us for a private reading. Kristen, no, this is the first time I saw your comment. Okay, so you want me to do Tegan. Okay. Yeah, Tegan or Tegan? How do you pronounce it? Is it Tegan or Tegan? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> There's so many comments, which is brilliant, which is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I'm sorry you've been waiting for a while. It just, that's, I, I try to write everything down because the, the comments just flash and I feel really bad when I miss people. Kristen, Definitely. don't look sad. I'm, I'm right. Oh, who's right? You, me or Paul? Tegan or Tegan? <laughs> Yeah, is it? Uh, Come on. I, I've got you on, on next. I'm going to do you next after um, Tegan. Okay. I, I'll, yeah, it looks like Tegan because I hadn't seen the comments. So I was just a guess. I was just guessing it was Tegan. Uh, <laughs> I Chris, <laughs> yeah, Kristen, uh, I'm putting you on as well. Please stay on because I, I checked that you're on, not Paul, you. I was right, Paul. It's no. Tegan. <laughs> no, never. You're never. Oh, cheers. cheers. <laughs> yes, I'm right. Do you know I have been right three times now? So what's that? Another custard pie in your face. <laughs> cheers. Thanks. Shauna, Shauna, I just saw you now. So I'm putting you on the list, okay? Please stay on and... Um, you're most welcome, Kristen. Please stay on because, yeah, it, it's otherwise, if I don't know that you're on, I'll just go on to the next person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Now, all right. So, now, so take, who, let me just focus on Tegan. Okay. Okay. You can chat Paul, while I do that. I'll let you know when, when I'm ready. Yeah. Um, I want to know what Donna. Oh, right, okay. So, oh, it's nice to know Teresa's back, Ange. <laughs> I, I, I do go for walks and stuff. I, I was up the park today, so I, and I didn't see her. You know, is she, is she in the same place? I hope so. Um, but uh, I'm sure I'll see her one day, even if it's in June. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no. I'm, I'm so proud of all these wonderful people, you know, because like I, I like uh, Savannah says, because all the comments run so fast and um, it's we, we do miss people and it's it, it does make us feel bad that we've missed you. Um, but it's so nice that we're, we're getting all these wonderful, you know, and, and I'm, what we want to do is keep sharing our page because then more people come to us and then we can have a like a collective chat as you as usual about anything yeah yeah and we'll we'll just talk about anything you know we what was it we were talking about before chocolate talking about food which is amazing <laughs> and then it made everybody hungry just by talking about food you know what's what's everybody's favorite food what's everybody's favorite food you know, oh, apart from apart from the simple ones like ice cream, you know, um, you know, what about I don't know cakes, you know, um, and things like that. Has anyone got a really nice cake that we we might be able to make, or a recipe that can, somebody can send us so we can all have a go at ma yeah making cakes. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready now. Uh, no, but the thing is, Cindy, I'm from the UK. Yes, but I'm in Australia. Cindy, are you in Australia? Where Where are you in Australia? I'm in um, Melbourne. Are you? Oh, wouldn't it be nice? Oh, may, maybe I have a feeling she might not be in Australia. But no, I'm I don't think she is. I don't think she is. But it, no. But it, no, I don't think. She, where are you from, Cindy? I can't remember. Burgers, Kerry, or oh, burgers. Oh, burgers. All oh, right. Okay. Burgers. Mm. <laughs> Cabra's eggs. 
Yeah, you can't put it all burgers. Yeah. Donut cream. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is stew and dumplings. N nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, Kerry's in the UK. Uh, yeah. Oh, Catherine's in Liverpool. All right. I'm just I'm just gonna go on with um a uh, reading like a I've pulled um a card out for Tegan. Now um I hope Tegan's listening. Now I I've pulled out more than one card because I felt that what I got from the first one it needed a bit more clarification. And um I I've got the assertiveness card. And what I'm feeling from Tegan is Tegan is actually very spiritual. Um, you have a gift, Tegan. I'm not sure if you're aware of it yet, but it's going to be developing and it's going to be evolving. You're being guided by Archangel Raziel. Um, he's going to help you to open your eyes. you open your eyes and... Um, receive being able to tap in and be intuitive you're you need to as this happens you need to um not be afraid to assert your assertiveness um to speak out listen to the advice that you're getting from within because that's um your angels guiding you along this pathway so i'm not sure whether um, you're thinking or you're currently undertaking spiritual training, whether you're seeing things at the moment, Paul might be able to pick up on that, but mm -hmm. I, you have a very special gift. You just, um, but it's raw. I'm getting that it's raw. So you, you need some training perhaps in the, in the art of communication um, being assertive and speaking out what you're feeling from within, but also listening to what is coming to you inside, which is being you being uh, you're getting communication, you're getting answers, you're you're having your eyes open. So you need to listen to that and then not be afraid to speak out about it uh, because that's your inner truth. Um, so that's what I've got for you. So I hope that resonates with you, Tegan. Donna, if you could let me know, that would be fantastic. Yeah. Um, sorry, have you done? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. okay. Um, yeah. yeah, with uh, Tegan, um, I know that, that uh, and I, I, as soon as I, I saw the name, um, I started getting like a fluffy pillows. Okay, I know this is going to sound a bit weird. The fluffy pillows mean to me that the training that you will undertake will, um, yeah, it'll be like, I can't do that, I can't do that. So you'll be throwing yourself, it's like you're throwing yourself against the wall, and you need to, uh, you know, you need to open your eyes, open your mind, open your gift to others eventually but somebody and i do believe it's very close they're very close to you they can help you to open your eyes to what's coming okay but as savannah said you need to understand yourself okay um but i do believe that you are younger in that young age bracket okay because sometimes a lot of we, you know, um, people that young don't understand their gift. Okay, but these, you you've understood it since you were a child. I do believe that you you've understood it since you were a child. You've seen things and you've you know seen that uh, seen things around you. It's like your eyes, but but you just need to. Yeah, just just take on what people tell you, but don't. Oh, so uh, don't underestimate yourself. Okay, don't underestimate yourself because 
if you weren't meant to have been given this gift, okay, you wouldn't have been talking to us now, okay? You were meant to get this gift. I do believe there's not just one angel, there's many angels around you, yeah? And, and they are protecting you. They're also protecting you. And they're taking you by the hand, yeah? And and I do, there, there are, <clears throat> they are following you and they're, they're with you all the time. And they, they are trying to show you things, okay? But there will be a physical person that will come along and help you. But I believe the person that you need is also around you or close to you already. You just need to uh, take on that, uh, <clears throat> that, not challenge, it is a challenge as such. You know, you take on them challenges and you'll, you'll get better and better. I know it, um, it seems to be the same as what, Savannah was saying, but it's not. It's just different aspects because I do believe you'll do the cards and I do believe also you'll do the crystals, okay? So you you could possibly be a healer, okay? You could possibly be a healer and it won't just be. If you held somebody's hand, you could most probably use that to heal somebody, Yeah. But you can also do it with, with talking to people because you've got that calming voice. But you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in that you can do these things. But don't, like I say, underestimate what this gift gives you because it will be amazing. But, you know, you have to understand that it's not an easy gift to work with when you're starting out because a lot of people won't understand why you're doing it and people will try and throw you away from it because they don't want you to do it. But it's your choice. It's always your choice. It's everybody's choice if they want whatever they want to do in life. Okay? But uh, I hope that resonates with, with Tegan and uh, it's okay. Give us some feedback, please. And uh, thank you for coming through. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Donna, and thank you for letting us do the reading for Tegan. And I'm sorry that you've been waiting for a while. Yeah, we'll do, hope, yeah do apologize yeah. on that one. I hope that it helps her. And, um, but, um, you know, we can do especially because we, we don't even get to do readings for everyone it's just we have so many people asking and we can only really do a certain amount mm -hmm. but if you um you can contact us for a private reading i have put both our links in the in the comments um you can contact us and we can spend just focus on you um i won't be skimming through comments and things like that it'll just be uh focused on you it's private and you can ask questions and we can see what we get. But as usual, you know, sometimes there's certain things that we won't, we can't get, we won't be told because they're an experience that you need to be learned. You can't just have the answer like that. Wouldn't it be lovely to be able to just have the answer to everything like that as we ask it, as we need it. But um, we receive the answers through our experience and it's the guidance through that experience as well in, in which we are able to help you. Mm -hmm. um, hi yeah. Jeanette yes yeah, thank you thank um, you okay now I have got um, Catherine I've pulled out a card for Catherine I hope you're still on Catherine um, please let me know I haven't seen anything um from you for a little bit so i just want to make sure that you're still on mm. you're most welcome donna yeah thank you donna and give her a big hug from both of us yeah sorry uh, the, um what she says on that childlike message uh, yeah i was getting that i was getting that she was like a child yeah i didn't mention it because it didn't it wasn't relevant to the the uh, the reading, so 
but uh, thank you for letting us know. Yep, come on in. Uh, who are we up? Who's up next? Um, it's um, Catherine, and she's just verified that she's here. All right, you hope. Um, All right, I, I, I'm just feeling something from you, Catherine. That's why I had to clutch my, my quiz tool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I feel like, like I need to just breathe in deep and then breathe out, let it all out and breathe in deep. Like using the air, I, I'll just show you. It's a giving and receiving card. Um, so I'm feeling like, I need to take deep breaths in and deep breaths out, um, like um, having a, a glass of water or a jug and filling it up with water and then pouring it out, filling it up, pouring it out. So like cleaning it, uh, cleaning it and revi uh, revitalizing it, um, cleansing it so that it can be filled um, with high vibrations, something more positive. Um, now, I'm just, I'm not sure if, um, I have a feeling you might be longing for this. It, it could be that it's something that's about to happen or it's in the commencement of, but I'm, I'm getting that you've been longing for this and, um, You've been longing for a soulmate. And a soulmate is not always someone like, like a romantic. Um, most of the time it is, but it, it, it can also be someone that just resonates with you. And um, I know that you've been longing for that, but um, you're actually being assisted by your angels for that to happen. Um but you need to clear yourself first. Um, and that's why probably I think I'm getting the deep breaths in and out. It, it could also be that um, you have met this person and you're not sure how to go forward with it. Um, you're not sure what step to take. And that could be why I'm feeling like that. Um, just take it slow. Um, if it hasn't happened yet, it, will, it is about to. But I'm getting some, it, that it's something that you've been longing for. Uh, but it, it, it's all just take it a step at a time and just breathe, breathe in, breathe out. Don't, um, don't hold your breath because you're, you're going to block yourself like that. So I hope that resonates and that it helps you. I'm finished, Paul. Yeah, sorry, I'm just tuning in. Just tuning in. Yeah. Um, Catherine. I, I, because I'm, I'm going to give you a quick, a quick, you, you, I had this the other day where I get the, I get you getting into a car, Okay, this is not a, a physical car. This is like a, uh, a just, this is just like I show me how you, you're going. Okay, it's like you're getting into the car and it's like you're moving. It's like you're playing musical chairs with the car. It's like you're moving back to round and round and, and then you need to land up in the driving seat. Okay, you need to land up in that driving seat to move yourself forward because sometimes you do not understand what what you're doing you don't understand what the problem is you don't understand what the the what it is that's going to take you to the next level okay but signs have been shown to you all through your life okay yeah you have to start to look at these signs they could come in the form of anything okay 
And if you don't start looking for these signs, you're, you're just going to be stuck. OK, but these signs have been placed. They, they make the, the, the ones from, hang on, where, where are we going? Where are we going? From the, where are we going? Yeah, from, from, I'm getting from Mother Earth. Mother Earth is showing you the way. Okay. I, I was just, and she's showing you the way. And I don't know why I said that, but I, I do like using that phrase when I'm at home because it's on my, on one of my posts on my wall. But Mother Earth and is it Father? Time. Is it Father Time? Father. No, 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 no. Uh, Father. Uh, grand, uh, I, I don't know, but there's Father, Grandfather. It's like everybody is trying to move you forward. Your, 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 your life is different. You've always been promised things, okay? You've always been promised things in life, but you don't take, you know, when you find out that those people are not giving you what you've been promised, you start to fall back into yourself, okay? But if you, because I don't, I know that, I don't know why, it's like you're not, a, you're a spiritual person, but you don't go through the angels. You you look at it a different way to what we do, okay? Because I don't know why, I don't, and I I don't know what you're all about, but I I get Native American with this. I've been getting light ever since I've seen your name. Okay, I've been seeing Native American. Yeah. I don't know if it's the guides that are coming through to help you, but like I say, um, look out for that Mother Earth. And I don't know if it's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to brush up on these so I can remind myself. But but uh, pray, not pray to them, but ask them, and they will help you. Okay, they'll give you the signs. And I, I've been. It's like I'm repeating myself now, and they want me to keep telling you because. Again, like I said to somebody earlier, it's like you're, you want to, but you don't want to put the hard work in, but also you want, yeah, it's like you want everything, but you can't take it. But the promises, you know, they will happen, okay? But the right people need to come in. The people that are promising you these things aren't, they're the ones that want to move you away from where you want to go. Okay. It's like you are. I, I, yeah, I see, I see, um, like, like our picture that we have, uh, for our, um, links and everything, the native American, it's like that. That is how I see you and you you have, many spirit around you of yeah I could have got eagle and and bear and everything yeah but we've got other people to talk to but let us know if this is resonating with yourself okay and uh, yeah thank you for coming through and listening to us uh, but just keep going, keep smiling, keep going where you need to go. But uh, just understand that you, you're you're better than you think. Okay. So thank you, Catherine, 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 Catherine. Oh. Catherine. <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> I do apologise. I do apologise. We done we done a lot of hard work tonight. Um, yeah. yeah. Kristen, are you still on? I've pulled out a card for you. I just want to make sure you're still on because I know it, it, we're taking a bit of time going through. Um, so I just want to make sure that you're still on. But I just want to... Oh. Um, 
yes, yeah, so I just wanted to remind everybody uh, that um, I have reposted the links to both our pages that um, you can contact us for a private reading so that um, we can spend more time with you one-to-one, -one, focus just on you and um, look more into the questions that you're asking so that um, we can give you further guidance. We also have our YouTube channel uh, pinned in the comments, which um, we will be doing random lives and we have done a few on there already. So if you go through there, it'll be great um, to subscribe and click on the bell so that you get a notification when we do go live and you can join us on there. It'll be fantastic because for us, this is like, um, I um, this is like a, a big family for us and, and we really appreciate everybody joining us. It's fantastic. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to do one for Kristen. Uh, just a bit, one sec. Okay, now, all right, now, Kristen, what I have got for you is um, um, I'm getting from you, um, well, I've pulled out the, the frustration card, um, but I'm being guided to tell you not to be frustrated. And I'm feeling that you're being frustrated. You feel frustrated because you seem to be going around the same cycle over and over, the same situation. And I'm getting that um, it's to do with a relationship or relationships uh, with partners. Uh, I don't know whether you've just finished one or you've just started one, but I feel that you, well, I'm feeling like I'm frustrated. Um, I seem to go through the same thing all the time. Uh, you know, it, it may start off good, but it's just like going around the same mountain over and over. Um, the reason for this is, um, you're focusing on past relationships and I feel like you're, I guess a better way to say this for you to understand, it's like whether it's on your part or the other person's part, whether baggage from previous relationships is brought into the new one, which um, most of the time that is because of not healing and not letting things like that go and it can affect, affect future ones which makes you go through the same cycle again because you haven't learned that yet so I'm being guided to tell you to let go of things that have happened to you in your past you know take the the lesson from it the experience that you had from it acknowledge it and then let it go when you, you start, like in this case, it's a relationship, but it's also in all things of life. When you're starting this new thing, it's um, start it with it on a fresh page. Stop um, looking back, oh, this happened then, or, you know, just let it go. And, um, and when you find that situations seem to be a bit similar, you know, I, I learned this before, I know that the way that it's headed now, it's not going to work, you know, or it's going to lead to this. So I'm just being guided to tell you, don't be frustrated. It's This is what you need to do. Just let go of it. And even if you need to be in, um, on your own for a while, just to heal and um, in solitude for reflection, you'll find that once you heal and you love yourself, um, you, you know, you can't love someone else unless you love yourself first. You can't give to someone else if you're empty inside yourself. So that's what I'm getting for you. And I hope that that resonates with you and that it helps you. Mm. Hello, Kristen. Um, thank you for coming through and uh, being here for us. 
Um, yeah, I get with yourself, you know, the because I pick up on energy, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world, I pick up on your energies. <laughs> you know, that's just a great part of my gift. You know, I get a bit of anxiety inside yourself. I get a bit of anxiety, but, you know, that anxiety is, um, is self. That You put that on there yourself, okay? I, okay, you, and you've basically need to understand that you are stronger than what you think you are. You're going, you're going to go through phases in your life that you don't understand. You're going to go through things that people are going to say, sorry, you can't do that. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't go and see people like us. You, could, you know, you're going to get told a lot of this, but it's your choice in how you go about your own life. When you're born, I've used this before, you know, no one tells us what we, what we do. We, we start learning even before we're born, okay, that we're, everything's fantastic. But once we get into the, onto the world, into the world, people start to throw things into your ears, you know, and you start to, uh, um, you start to give all that energy to the negative side of life. Okay. And yeah, just please give yourself a chance. Take it on board that you can move forward. Yeah, because a lot of people have there's, there are special people out there that need that have been trying to help you. Yeah. There are people out there that are looking forward to seeing you happy again or on your moment of giving you some joy. I know it just, it just sounds a bit, might be out of the ballpark with what you're thinking, but that's basically what I'm getting. You need to now get yourself moving forward, okay, to get yourself moved forward. Don't listen to all the doubters. Because if you want to go and do a new job or go and do something, if you want to travel the world, you travel the world. You know, you think you have to work it all out. But, you know, go and do it. Go and do these things because you're the only one who's that person that's being a negative person isn't the person that's going to do it. You are. You're the person that's going to do it. And you're the only one that can stop yourself. Okay, but uh, keep going, keep smiling, and yeah, enjoy life, enjoy life, and don't let people get in your way, but don't be angry about it, just, you know, you just have to say, yeah, okay, I'm going to do my thing, no matter what you do say, but you don't need to be angry, you need to be calm with it, okay, be nice and calm with it. Because once you start to do these things and they start to understand that you're not going to listen to them, then those people you'll find will start to help you. They'll start to th they'll start to support you. That's the word I was trying to come up with. Support. They will support you. Yeah. But they don't want to see you as a different person. They don't want to see you get better, they want to see you as the person that, that has nothing, that does nothing, that doesn't help you, help yourself. They want to see you in that hole, and they, you know. But uh, you'll be fine. Just believe in yourself and go for it. So thank you, Kristen. Thank you for that, and thank you for coming through and using us, uh, you know, come see us, basically, yeah, and yeah. getting a little <laughs> reading for myself. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Um, thank you so much, Kristen. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, I hope that we've both been able to help you. 
Yeah. I just wanted to remind everyone that um, we do have the link to our YouTube channel pinned in the posts. We do random um, um, lives on there as well, which we've already done a couple. And we can do, we do the readings like we do here and we have a chat. So you can actually interact with us. Um, if you'd like to participate, uh, just click on the link and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell so that um, you do get notified when we do go live. Um, it, a lot of times it's even just a spur of the moment thing. We're chatting and we think, oh, let's go on YouTube, you know. So it'll be good. It'll be so fantastic. Um, Kristen, you are most welcome. You are most welcome. Yeah, yeah, um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. we've. I've also re uh posted the links to both our pages in the comments section for a private reading where we can focus on you and uh, spend more time with you and look at areas that you actually want um, uh, us to focus on, give you more guidance on. Uh, please um, contact us and book a reading and uh, we'll be most happy to do that for you. But... Um, I want to also say thank you to everyone that has joined us for this live and for giving us the opportunity to do a reading for you. Uh, it means a lot to us. Uh, everyone is like, a, 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 it's a big family here for us. Yeah, um, definitely, we, definitely. Yeah, we appreciate everyone joining and um, you'll probably even notice in the beginning when we first came on, we, we just, you know, chat about anything and, you um, we welcome anyone's contribution, whatever they'd like to talk about. But um, it's just unfortunate that we can only, I think we've been over, like we've been on for about two and a half hours and, um, you know, we can't get to everyone. But, um, and I apologise for that. You know, there's people that are on at the moment that would like a reading. Um, if you like our pages and um, follow us as well, you'll get notified when we do come on lives. Um, but, you know, you really want a reading, just um, book, book a reading with us. You know, you get that's how you're guaranteed to have a reading and uh, it'll be just focused on you. It won't be like the two-minute, you know, card pull that I do. But thank yeah, you once thanks. again. So, Paul, have you got any last words you'd like to <clears> say? No, I, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's turned up today. Um, and, you know, we've we've had some fun. We've had some laughter. You know, we've met many great people on here, you know. Um, and it's, it's just an amazing thing that we do. And I'm so grateful that we started this because we're meeting people from all over the world. And it, it's making me... You know, because when I tell people out there what we do, you know, I say, yeah, we talk to people from all over the world and they really go, what you? and you see their face and it's amazing that, that, that they go, wow, you talk to all these people across the world and we go, yes, we do, but we, we treat them like people. We don't treat them like cattle. We, we let them interact with us, which is a great feeling. Because if we let you all interact with us, as we say, you're part of the family. You know, we don't just do the readings, as Savannah was saying. We just, we do lots of things. We talk about anything. If anyone's got a problem, just ask someone a question. You know, leave them a little message or something. They might be able to, they might be able to help you um, in the sense of, can you do this? Can you do that? But, you know, because um, who says that they don't? We might not know the, the answer to it, but you might. Like one of the wonderful people that are on here might. Okay? But it's it's so special for what we do, and I'm so proud that we, like I say, that we can do this for so many great people. So thank you to everyone that's come in. Um, we look forward to you coming to us on the next one, or everyone, actually. <laughs> and then we can talk about tea parties and, and things. <laughs> Talk about anything, basically. <laughs> Thank you all. We love you all the bits. Yes. Thank you. Bye, uh, everyone. Yeah, you take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye.